the expression. So I see some power rules from exponents going on here. So let's remind you of that. a to the n to the power of m is just going to simply be the product of those exponents. So a to the n times m. a to the n times m. So, and then a little bit of distributive property. So it looks like here we have, what are we going to get? c, and then we have negative 2 multiplied by 2 fifths. Negative 2 times a negative, or negative 2 times 2 fifths is negative 4 fifths. And then on the other one, on the a, we have 1 fourth multiplied by 2 fifths. So a little bit of reduction there is going to leave us with 1 tenth. So go 1 tenth. Now for politeness sake, a lot of these problems sometimes say don't have negative exponents or they don't want negative exponents. So let's call this a to the 1 over 10 and then we'll put the c to the 4 fifths in the bottom again just for politeness sake. Okay, on the right what do we have? It looks like we have x to the 2 to the negative 3, so 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then we have y to the 1 third to the negative 3, and 1 third times negative 3 is negative 1. So this time it looks like both of them are going to be shifted down to the bottom. So I'm going to put a 1 on the top as a placeholder. I'm going to move the x to the 6th down to the bottom. And then we have a y to the first power, and so there's our little y. So 1 over x to the 6th multiplied by y. Okay, one last one, uno mas. J h. J raised to the negative 3 halves times negative 2 fifths. So negative 3 halves, negative 2 fifths. Let's do the multiplication over the side just to be careful. And negatives will cancel, twos will cancel, so it looks like we're getting a 3 over 5. And h looks like we're going to have a 1 third and a negative 2 fifths being multiplied. Uh, no real reduction, so it's just negative 2 over 15. Again, for politeness, let's take that j, keep it on the top, but we'll take the h and we'll move it down to the bottom as a 2 over 15, and let that be our final answer.